Welcome back to Candy's Art World. I'm Candy, and today we are going to be testing a 21 piece set of watercolor pa paints and tubes by Royal and Lane Nickel. I've never tried watercolors in a tube before, so this is going to be a fun experiment. See how I like it. It came with one pencil. It's an HB pencil for sketching. A brush. It's a small round brush. Ten paints. Eight sheets of watercolor paper. And one guide. I didn't realize that this set came with paper in it. Decided to take a look at the um, guide, see what was inside there. Had some tips on uh, color mixing and stuff. And it showed a list of other little kits that you can buy from them. Looks like pretty good paper, so let's go ahead and use a piece of that instead of the paper I have on the board. Let's see, the tape tore the paper anyways, so I'm glad I didn't spend time painting something on there just for it to rip. The paper I was going to use was super cheap bulk paper I bought online. I don't even remember where where it was I bought it. It's really not that good a paper, but it'll work perfectly for trying out new little things instead of using the heavy duty stuff. But since this came with some paper and it's heavier duty paper than what I was gonna use, might as well give that a try. I'm reusing the tape that I had the other paper taped down with hoping that uh, some of the sticky came off so it, does, it hopefully won't rip this paper. It is a smaller paper than what I'm used to using but I think it's uh, pretty nice to tr start out with. And I decided I wanted to just tape down the top and bottom to kind of give it that panoramic feel. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did that. I was looking to see if it told the weight of the paper. It didn't, at least not that I seen. The little packaging that it came in was actually formed to be a palette as well, which was really nice of them to think of. Um, it has perfectly ten little compartments to have each of the ten colors in. And there's a couple of wells that you can mix some colors if you wanted to as well. The first color in this set is... Prussian blue, a 
second color is violet. The next color is crimson red lake. This one is vermilion. This yellow is a lemon yellow. This one is white. And a black. This is burnt umber. And we have a sap green. And a deep green. Here's a closer look at the brush they provided. The barrel seems nicely secured. Um, the bristles are OK. Um, and it's got a nice plastic handle. There won't be any paint chipping off of it. And here's a look at the HB pencil. Just a standard pencil, pretty much. Um, only two things, oh, well, three things that the set did not include was an eraser, tape, or a board in which to tape the the paper on. And I'm going to speed through the drawing because it's not really about my drawing on this one. But I'm gonna draw um, like a like a wood floor with a flower on it. And uh, Hopefully it won't be too long in here since it's sped up, but uh, I realized I really do need an eraser, so I had to step away for a second to find my own eraser. Can't really see the pencil lines um, on camera, but that's our all right, actually, because you don't want, well, some things you might want pencil lines to show on, but that wasn't what we were going for on this. But this paper stood up to me uh, erasing several times. I was going to draw out all the petals and stuff, and then I decided that I would just draw the center of the flower and the stem and wing the petals when I got to the paint. But here I am trying to draw the petals. But then I realized I'll just do that with the paint. And now I'm opening each of the colors and adding them to their own individual little well. Um, seems like quite a bit of paint in these tiny little tubes. I, I did put a good drop of each color in the containers. Um, if, you ever, if you ever have trouble, all you have to do is twist off the cap, flip it over, there's usually a a point on there and you can use that to break the seal on the 
on the paint. Um, I started the first board doing wet on wet. That's where you wet the paper and then you have a damp, really damp brush with quite a bit of paint. Um, but I tend to forget to pre-wet the paper before I start painting the next area. I think it's just because I'm used to working in acrylic paint more. I'm not used to just brushing the canvas with water, but um, right now I'm just trying to create a wood grain kind of effect. So I would uh, do a quite wet brush and a pretty dry brush and let it dry between between layers so that way the when I was doing a little bit of the detail it wouldn't uh, bleed in or bleed out too much. I wanted each of the boards to be just a little bit different from each other. And, and then I got to start playing with some of the greens for the for the leaf and the stem. And this is like kind of a a sunflowery daisy kind of a flower. I have to give this paint a really good uh, shout out because I was able to go over the background for these petals, even though I didn't leave it white. Um, I was a little bit worried that I messed up on that by not drawing them in. Uh, but I think these kind of petals sometimes do better trying to go just let it flow naturally. But maybe I was wrong because some of my petals are a little longer than others. Um, but it was fun anyways. Playing around with the paint really is what I was doing the most. You could get it really opaque and you can have it nice and, and uh, transparent or translucent as well. Just by adding more or less water. I really suggest trying out this set. It was fun to play with. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Have a great day.